Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad Challenge. I'm going to be showing you how to build a filter to get your green water nice and clear. Now this will work in a koi pond or a pool, and I actually have a video from a while ago of getting iron out of pool water. This will work great for that as well. Now all you're going to need is just a few things you can pick up from your local hardware store. You're going to need a five gallon bucket, and make sure this is a clean bucket. You don't want to use something that you've had chemicals in. You are also going to need a bag of river rock. You're also going to need a pump. I like to use something like this. This is a thousand gallon per hour pump and it has a pretty large inlet on the bottom. Some hose material that you can connect to that pump. Some batting material here. You may not be able to find the batting material at your hardware store, but this can also be had very easily at a craft store. And you're gonna need the lid for that bucket. This is a gamma seal lid. These actually thread off instead of pop on. They're a little bit easier to work with, but a regular lid will work as well. Now we're gonna start by cutting some holes in the lid, and I'm gonna cut the holes right in these recesses here. <laughs> For this part, I'm using a hole saw, but you can cut it with a Dremel or really any other thing you can cut a hole with. Next, we're gonna pop the frame of our gamma seal lid onto our bucket. And then returning back to the hole saw, we're gonna cut a hole in the top of the bucket as close to the top as we can. And we want this one, the diameter, so our hose will fit snugly through the hole. Now we're going to prepare a pump by putting the hose on the pump. Now you should use a band clamp. I searched my whole garage. I thought I had one and I don't. So we're going to use zip ties. These should be enough for this pump. Just want to get them on there real snug. Like I said, a band clamp would be a better option here. Now take your bucket and feed the power line for your filter through that hole that you just cut. Then the hose for the filter. This should be a really nice tight fit. You don't want a lot of water to be able to get past it. Next, we're gonna take all that river rock and start filling the bucket. You want it pretty much right there so it's coming up to the top of the pump. This prevents the batting from getting sucked down into the pump. I'm gonna real quick hose this off and get all the dust off that so we don't get that in the pond. Now with the river rock clean, we're gonna take our batting and stuff it into the filter. All this batting adds as a filter and it'll actually polish the water. Now, all this stuff, if you can't find it at your local hardware store or if you don't wanna run your local hardware store, I will have a link down below where you can pick all this stuff up online as well. Now with the bucket full of material, we're gonna place the lid on the top. And now our filter is ready to go in the pond. Now all that rock we put in there will help carry it to the bottom, but it is a good idea to fill this thing with water. This will help sink it all the way to the bottom. This will also help that pump start going. It'll help get water in the pump. Now we just have to plug the pump in. Now the pump is in there and it is cranking away. Let's check on the pond in a day and see how the water looks. So this is after just a few days of running the filter. You can see it all the way to the bottom. My fish are all looking really happy and actually really hungry. So we're gonna feed them. But if this video helped you out, please, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the description below. Let me know what kind of projects you are working on at home. Now let's feed these hungry guys.